Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm going to be creating another minimal supply card, meaning I'm going to use very few supplies and supplies that you can find most anywhere. So the first thing I'm using is some watercolor paper. This is Canson XL watercolor paper. And I particularly like this one because the quality is pretty good. And you can find it at places like Walmart or in, even in drugstores. You're also going to need an inexpensive watercolor set. I'm using this brush from Royal and Langnickel, but only because I have misplaced that cheap yellow Crayola brush that came in my watercolor set. I have a pencil, some scissors, a black pen or black marker, and then also a scrap of paper. This is just some colored paper. You could use whatever you have on hand. I'm using this color paper so it's easier to see on camera. So the first thing you're going to do is take your scratch paper and cut it to four inches wide by two inches tall. Then you're going to fold it in half and make a crease. And then you're going to fold in the edges to that center fold line. We're basically dividing this piece of paper into four segments. And we're going to use this to create a template to draw some hearts on our card. And this is going to ensure that the hearts are evenly spaced. So I'm going to fold it back in half and I'm going to draw one half of a heart on the free edge. So this is not on a fold, this is actually on the edge of the paper. And I'm using a pencil just to draw that heart shape just like you used to do when you were in elementary school. It's a really simple way to get a perfectly symmetrical heart. So I'm going to go ahead and use my scissors to cut this shape out. And I'm using my uh, really sharp scissors. You could use whatever scissors you have on hand, but the key to this is to just cut about two or three layers at a time. You don't wanna be cutting uh, really thick layers of paper because then the paper starts to shift and you won't have perfectly spaced out hearts. So I'm folding this over so that I can use the, the already cut heart to draw another half heart onto another area of this plate. So I've got that right on the edge of that fold there and I'm going to cut this out again. And this, the way we're doing it this way, it makes it so you only have to cut this out three times, but you're going to have five hearts, or rather, I suppose, three and a half or four hearts. So now I'm going to bring over one of those free edges, and I'm not going to fold it all the way over. This is kind of like a half area. I'm just bringing the edge of that to the fold, and I don't want to crease it down. I just want to hold it there long enough to trace that heart. Basically, you want a heart on each fold line and also on the, the two sides. So now I've folded that up again and I'm going to cut out this last heart and it's going to add the final two hearts into our template. So this is a really fun way to add really, <clears throat> excuse me, symmetrical hearts in a perfect line across your card. So if you need more hearts than this, you could definitely have an even longer strip of paper to work with. I'm going to be having my card say Happy Dad's Day, and the longest word has five letters. So that's why I chose to do this particular uh, orientation or this particular way of having the hearts. So I have some watercolor paper here that is cut to four inches tall by 11 inches long, and I just folded that in half. And now I'm using a ruler. You could also just use a straight edge or a piece of paper for this because we're not measuring with the ruler. We just need the straight edge. And I'm just crisscrossing that to see where the exact center of the card is. Then I'm going to place my paper over the top, get that center heart centered over that X that I've just drawn. And then I'm going to trace the heart onto the card. So I'm going to go ahead and trace all of the hearts onto this card and I'm going to use the template and once again this is the best way to get evenly spaced out images. You could do this with circles or squares or anything you'd like and I do have to apologize for that nasty wound on my finger. <laughs> um, I had a mole removed and it's actually healing very well but um, it's to the point where I, I just don't keep a band-aid on it anymore because it needs some air. Anyway, 
that's beside the point. You're going to keep drawing in those hearts. And for these two hearts in the end, you're going to finish those in a minute. But for now, I'm going to take uh, one of those little hearts that I actually cut out, and I'm going to use that to help space out where the template should be put next. So I'm just drawing in those lines to give me a good idea of where that's going to be. And then I can place that one over the top. And I did it this way because it was hard to see around this template because there was lots of space on the top and bottom. So by using that cutout heart, just to give myself a good guide for where to trace, that worked out well. So for the hearts on the on either end, I'm just using the other half of the uh, heart, other half of the heart to trace that on. Then I'm going to do this bottom row. And the bottom row only needs three hearts because it's the word day. So just three letters. So I'm just finishing up those hearts. And also on the second row, I only need four. So it worked out well to go five, four, three. So it has kind of a step down pattern. So after I had those hearts traced on there, I mixed up some different colors using my very inexpensive Crayola watercolor paints. I basically wanted a kind of a more dark muted green, a bright blue, and also kind of like a navy blue. So I'm using some clean water and getting the area around these hearts wet and then dropping in color. And I'm going to do that same method for all of this area around the hearts. And this is a really easy way to get a fun watercolor look without a lot of effort. The only part that's a little bit tricky is making sure you don't paint into the center area of those hearts. It's not too terribly difficult, but it is something you have to be aware of. And I wasn't being particularly careful. I figured this is a handmade card. It's okay if it looks handmade. So I didn't uh, worry about having really clean straight lines. But I did also want to make sure that these shapes still look like hearts once all was said and done. So I'm adding more water and dropping in those colors. If you wanted to change up this card, use different colors, I think it would, it would look fantastic with rainbow colors going all the way across, starting on one side with red and continuing on to purple. I think that could look really, really fun. And another way you could change up this card is you could paint the inside of the hearts instead. I think that would look really, really fun. So after I let that dry, I went back in with my eraser and erased all of the lines that were still peeking out from the watercolor. If you want to make sure that all of your lines can be erased later, uh, you can be very careful and not paint over those lines. But watercolor does tend to trap pencil underneath it. So if you don't want the pencil showing, um, you're going to have to be really careful where you paint. So now I'm basically adding one letter to each heart and I'm using a, a line to connect all of the letters. So it really extends the word all the way across the card. And I did the same for the word dads with an apostrophe and the word day. And then I took a black marker. I'm using this Pilot Envelope Addressing Pen. It's one of my most favorite waterproof pens to work with. So if I had wanted to write on these letters before I started painting, I definitely could have since this pen is waterproof. And while the all of these supplies are readily available in most places, if you want to purchase any of your, your supplies online or things like that, I will have all of the supplies listed down below in the video description or at my blog. Um, you could also use this list if you want to just print out the list so you know what to get at the store so you can make your own card like this. So I'm almost completely done with the card. I'm just going to erase any of that pencil that's left behind. And then I'm also going to add just a little bit of detail to the very bottom of the card. I thought, you know, this card looks great the way it is, but I wanted to add some detail. So I'm going to take that same ruler and draw some black lines at the very bottom of the card. I'm going to be adding three lines. Um, I'm trying to get them very close together, but still evenly spaced. And this is going to just ground the card a little bit and give it a little bit of uh, interest and detail at the very bottom of the card. So that finishes my DIY minimal supplies card for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. You could definitely modify this card for a plethora of other, other occasions. You could even maybe personalize it with a person's name. I think that would be really fun. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.